everyone. Uh, I don't normally do a vlog entry at this stage of the um, refurb, as we're, we're literally like right at the end now. Uh, but I thought it would actually be quite a good idea to do that, to sort of explain the letting side of it as well, as well as like how we finished it and all that sort of stuff. So um, let's show you around. It's just me today, so it'll be a bit vloggy. I'm going to try and hold the camera as steady as possible. Um, I know I get a bit excited and I rush around um but yeah so let's just take it take you down on this first floor so we've got the new like you know it's three stories so i've not had this sort of uh, fire alarm system um before but yeah so as you come in come into the house we put like yeah a little shoe rack we've got coat thingy all the sort of legal information that you need to have to you've got to put up um you know in your hmo so you sort of yeah contact details what's doing case of fire and the safety test record and that, which um, I'm not actually sure if I'll um, if I've got to do that or something different. I need to sort of uh, yeah see exactly what we need to do with that one. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. It's looking really good. We are sort of yeah right at that final stages. I think I've shown you this before. Pretty cool fuse board and stuff like that. So coming into the lounge. Um, yeah, so we're basically, what we're gonna do is this bit is gonna go up the other end and we've decided, so yeah, essentially like what we've decided is something completely different to what we designed, but actually when you get in the house, it feels completely different. So I think um, with this sort of setup, if I show you, flip it, flip it round, put that up this end here, we're gonna put the TV facing here. It was originally gonna be here and sort of like this way, um, but I think it will flow better, uh, yeah, like this. And actually, it kind of you've got this bit of a walkway now through here, dining room table, um, yeah, and the whole setup there. So I think that is a lot better in here. All that sort of stuff. I don't know if you can see, but we've had sort of down here. I wonder if I'll, I'll probably put a picture in. Um, there was an issue with. Um, this sort of thing outside, which, oh, let's go show you now. Um, there was an issue where it was kind of leaking onto um, the wall and creating damp and all that sort of stuff. Let me show you. Let me show you. So this structure. between and um, oh, I haven't got my phones on me. Again, I'll put a picture, but you can kind of see there. You can see um, damp. So we need to, um, basically, let me just come inside. So basically what happens, we, we, none of us noticed it because the wall was, you know, in disrepair anyway beforehand. Um, as it's then gone to be painted, it's then been flagged up and all that sort of stuff. So we're now gonna have to see whether, you know, does the neighbor wanna take it down? Do we wanna make repairs to it and all that sort of stuff? So we're just, uh, yeah, in the process of doing that. But let's flip you round. I should have watched last week's or whenever the last, last vlog. I can't remember if we've said this or not, but um, let me show you the sort of, yeah, kitchen. Um, sorry, let me flip it back around, sorry. There's a lot of snagging in here uh, that we're not happy with. So I think we need to basically create a big snagging list, which is yeah, what you've got to do at the end of projects um, anyway. But there's a lot of things not quite right, but they, you know, things I think we said about in one vlog is the, the tiling situation. So as you can see now, they've done the three down here and they've actually done a really good job here. So look, that's the sort of two cut bit. It just looks so much better. And then also equally over here, you can see it's uh, nice and symmetrical and just looks a bit better. And they've obviously had to touch this bit up here. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. It's all looking really, really good. Um, it feels nice, you know? You know, TV through there. So there we go, like downstairs is getting it. So actually it's probably worth noting. So as an example, I missed the bloody TV delivery yesterday, the one time I was out all day. So that's coming Monday. So there's a few little things I like put the TV up um, and all that sort of stuff, just getting the IKEA order. So 
I need to do as the sort of letting agent for the, for the property, I need to do an inventory now. Um, and with our HMOs, we do an inventory of the whole house and then everyone's individual bedroom. So I can't start doing the inventory until all the things like all the glasses are here, uh, spatulas, cutlery, you know, all that sort of stuff. So Alicia's got a big list of what we provide uh, normally, so she's getting all that to site, but probably on Monday I'll start getting the hard items in because you know, like the kitchen's in and all that sort of stuff, I'll start documenting what the ovens are um, and all that. So uh, in terms of letting it, we've already rented two out of six rooms and we're not really, well, we haven't started advertising this um, already and I've probably got a viewing on Monday as well. I've got another guy interested, so three out of six potentially gone already. Um, yeah, so in terms of lettings, um, I've been following up the, I've got the gas safety certificate, uh, the EPC and all that sort of stuff. Uh, all, have you even got it? I think the electrics need to be signed off, so we need that, and I think we need the final building control cert, but um, yeah, small things. So you've got to get all that uh, ready and in place. Um, so coming upstairs, so like if I flip it round, I'm sure the light will flick on. It just feels nice and big. And this room is already gone. And either this room or one upstairs and then another one upstairs already. So again, do you know what's interesting? The most expensive rooms always go first. It's interesting. So I've um, got 750 pound for this room. We've got the guy paying three months up front. Um, yeah, and that's a 750 room. And upstairs a 775, 800. Um, maybe we could go more, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, let me show you around. So I don't think the furniture was here last time. So we've got big mirrors. Again, I'm not sure exactly where it's going, but we've gone with the Landlord Furniture Company, I think. I think that's what they're called. And you can see we've put this sort of Ikea shelving unit, which can be put any way, um, shape or form that you like. Uh, so, don't know why the extractor fans off. But you've got this uh, nice shower door, mirrors, all that sort of stuff. It's just really nice. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, really like it. Uh, let's go straight over here. Coming through here. So, all keyless locks on all the doors as standard. Um, So yeah, coming through, we need the curtains. Curtains were delivered to my house last night, so they're there, and ready. So it's a fairly decent sized room, uh, this one. I love, absolutely love, this bathroom. Um, yeah, I think it's just really nice. Nice big walk-in shower, it's been tiled all here. You can just walk in, overhead, Massive, I love it. So literally, I don't know why, I just really like the shower. I think it's really nice, like tiles. Yeah, and we've got LVT flooring. Uh, so it's like hardware and you can get water on it and stuff. And we've got big radiators. It's nice and hot in this property. Um, obviously done all the thermal insulation and all that jazz, you've got coat hooks. So we've got the handyman in early to do like coat hooks, put the, um, what are they called? Curtain poles up and stuff like that. We didn't get this bit to site, so we need to come back and do that. But it's um, just a rail, it's gonna go here. And then coming in, nice, fairly sized, good room as well. Nice desk space, wide internet, USB plug points, TV aerial point over here, and wide internet. So we've put this little shelving unit. So a little bit tight here, but what we've done, instead of just whacking a unit, we've given loads of extra storage as well. And you've obviously got under the bed storage here, um, as well, brand new windows, quadruple chest of drawers, so it's a massive, massive room. And then, uh, yeah, again, a little wonky toilet, trying to get fixed. Um, really nice shower. And I think Alicia showed you last time, she's super proud that this literally fits perfectly. But um, yeah, again, nice and big. Shaver points. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you next door, bear with me, um, um, um. so 
so nice big mirrors coming through. I think um, the company had forgotten about four bedside tables, so it's actually got more bedside tables coming. But this room will, will have two bedside tables. You've got two double wardrobes, massive uh, mirror, a nice little desk. Again, the same sort of shower and a hinge door, handheld with a big overhead shower, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it's looking uh, really good. What's that say? Handle is faulty. Fantastic. Let's get that sorted. Right, and now, finally, the two upstairs bedrooms. Again, by the end of next week, it's gonna be ready. So this is probably gonna be the last um, vlog entry because uh, we'll have it all staged and good to go uh, next week. So yeah by the end of next week. Love this room, I literally love these upstairs, but I love all the rooms. Do we get, we've got blinds on order, all that sort of stuff, you can see. Nice little shelving unit. That's pretty cool. And then, uh, well obviously as well, you can see the rails, so you can hang your clothes. Big mirror. Uh, lots of extra space here, again. I'm trying to go as slow as I can by the way. Uh, sorry if I'm a bit excited and it's quite quick. I'm doing my best. Look at these little shelving bits in it, love it. Literally love it. Um, really nice room, really do like it. And then uh, the final room is this one. So again, furniture, I think it's pretty much correct, but could change, You've got a big desk here. Nice big mirrors, triple wardrobe. And look at that. Fridge freezer, little sink, nice beds. Massive room, absolutely massive. It's like 15.5 square meters. And then finally in here another nice yeah shower so it's been quite a long vlog episode you can see how we're pretty much all literally nearly there ready lettings wise we're all there just got to do the inventory um already got tenants through referencing um so once we lock in a, a definite date which i think it what day is it saturday today it might be next friday next saturday once I've got the date, I can send them all the paperwork, uh, contracts and stuff like that, it's all digital. Um, anyway, uh, but they passed reference in, so we just, yeah, he, he's flexible to move in whenever the place is ready. Uh, and then everyone else, whoever takes a room, ready to rock and roll. Um, all the paperwork's there and all that sort of stuff. Um, apart from the electrical cert, I'm sure it'll be done this week. And just little things like, actually, we need to get a Wi-Fi booster, so I'll probably have to put like a, a Wi-Fi booster there or in the other room. Um, but yeah, small little details, but there's quite a lot that goes into it. And obviously you get all the blinds up and all that sort of stuff and curtains and stage it, get these pictures done and all that sort of stuff. So this is gonna be the final vlog entry until the very last one. But we are, yeah, really proud to um, show you what we do with the place uh, and the final pictures. So stay tuned, might be in another week or two, uh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you find that sort of, yeah, the, the changes. If you go through every vlog, it's completely changed, isn't it? But here we go. Here we are, we've made uh, another HMO. So um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.